Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to some more uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Alright, as Romania, let's keep on going. <clears throat> Not much happening. I'm thinking about stopping the training exercises for right now. The thing is that it seems that we have... Um, it seems that they no longer progress uh, experience-wise. Wow, I'm really uncertain why there is so much lag going on. Like, uh, while I'm not recording, the game goes on very smoothly. But uh, if I'm recording, it drops down to like very, very few frame rates. And especially if I like change scenes, like zoom in and out, or like move across very fast, it uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, wait, uh, wait just a second. Alright, we're back. Hopefully this will work a little bit better. I'm not sure. I'm just like trying to lower the quality as much as I can. It's so amazing, like freaking Dark Souls 3 goes on without any problems, but like... Um... Uh-oh, let us wait for a second. We have a decision to make. I want to stop all the exercises because it seems that the... Regulars are the limit at which they can get experience-wise. Which makes sense, you know, I mean, you cannot get veterans by simply exercising, they do need to find... ...to fight. And the communists demand a referendum, alright. Uh, they couldn't have waited until, like, December when the elections are uh, going to happen. These ideas took root in Romania a long time ago, but have gained much more widespread support lately. The movement has spread outside political theory into political practice with disgruntled workers and even some high profile celebrities voicing support. The commun communists call this class consciousness. The uh, National Liberal Party call it a fast track to riots and treason, showing little faith in our month. Kalinescu, unfortunately, being willing to implement the reforms they demand, the more vocal communists have called for an immediate referendum to have the current government removed, while we might be able to reverse the moment, momentum of this mass movement. Failure to do so will absolutely result in the most more popular communist method of removal, revolution. So we can uh, stop the activities, which uh, makes uh, we use up all our political power and... Uh, makes communists more unpopular, but we can gain the communist revolutionary for like an entire year, which introduces our uh, national unity, which is not that great, by the way, it's just 66%. We can ignore them, which just gives us this, um, this event and that's it. Uh, we don't, we lose on the, like, change of popularity. And the referendum is p preferable, which I totally agree with, and um, the uh, Communist Party will become ruling party as they have currently support. Public election will not be held, gain base nationality minus 5. Mm, well, we will have to do it, unfortunately. It is the decision, and it seems that we have become indeed the Romanian People's Republic. And this is, has finally changed as the day has shif shifted and uh, the Communist Party is now the ruling party. Alright, so that means that we can now, yeah, we can now do the collectivist ethos. And we can uh, keep on going towards over here, which will hopefully allow us to... Um, uh, lower our, like, uh, increase our national unity for once, but hopefully lower our neutrality levels so it can become more interventionist, uh, interventionist wise. Alright, let's uh, see what we can do over here. More technology, so we can no longer do this because we are focusing on that. Oh, we can do on more construction. Excavation? Hmm. How about here? We can do basic radars. Uh, maybe not right now. Wait, let's pause and not lose time. We can do doctrines. These are pretty interesting. Uh, soft attack, breakthrough, new more artillery. We can do more tanks. Like the light tank could be good enough. We can do support battalions, support weapons. Hmm, this one is a little bit ahead of time. Like, what's this? Binocular recon co companies, of course. We have invented binoculars by now. Let's uh, research the light tank. For now. 
we'll go back to some more uh, civil uh, or like non-war focused research later on. There is definitely enough to do. I also want to research the bombers. I cannot believe we don't have them. But I will have to wait a little bit. We well, unfortunately already took like the fighter focus. Which is exclusive from the bomber focus. Alright, we can now go back. Um, let me see. We are producing equipment here and there. We don't have any lack of... Are we like training any units? Is this the reason why um, we... Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be so. The reason why we are so low on manpower. When our division can no longer reinforce and fight. And also this uh, planes in reserve. We have unused planes in our air reserve. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. Um, I don't know. Put them... Uh, just... Alright, we have something new over here, just a second, I'm still trying to figure out, basically... Can we create a new air wing, move all the equipment, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, and I think it's because we just don't have the manpower. Um, Alright, so it's just something about some planes. That we don't, we. I, I think the idea is that yeah, it's these ones we have um, that are not being used. Select an airbase and then create a new air wing to deploy them. Create new air wing, and we cannot deploy them because we do not have the now manpower. There we go. So we have planes available, but we don't have the man to man them. Basically, all right. So after the communist rise. Um, the recent rise to power, Konstantinion Parhon announced that the Romanian People's Republic will no longer keep its neutral foreign policy. There you go. Contagled and complex, this country has always stood on its principles and, uh, and been ready to defend them. We are no longer safe on our own. Neutrality is no longer safe and haven't, haven't it used to be and those who speak power in this world do not respect it. We must stand with our communist brothers against the powers that seek to oppress us. Oh my god, this guy. Uh, against the bourgeois majority who wants nothing more than keep us down. If we do not take a stand, we'll perish alone. And this removes our national spirit of neutrality. It should go on like by the next day, I think. No neutral foreign policy. Or maybe if I like refresh it, there you go. So now we no longer have the, um, uh, the penalty of like... Um, Iberian region. I don't want the air force anymore. God damn it. I want the uh, political thing. How the hell do I select that? Um, wait, diplomacy map mode. Will this work? There you go. Uh, can we send volunteers now? No, now we can send them, I think. There you go, because uh, we are no longer uh, neutral. So we can send our own volunteers to fight for Republican Spain. Hmm, should, who should we send? Uh, who's... Um, uh, these ones are the one by Ioan Mihail Rakovica. So I think we can send this guy. There you go. You have uh, selected more divisions than you're allowed to send. Oh, you have zero division as volunteer forces and your maximum total limit is two. Okay, so you can only send two divisions, so we'll have to like uh, select from these, just like disband two units from the army, or like select them separately. How do you like um, division assignment mode, edit mode, front line, offensive line, fallback line, garrison area? Uh, not exactly sure. Or what I can do is I think I can just like remove this army like entirely right we can select these two guys tell them to form up an army on their own reassign uh, the general and have uh, him sent as volunteers to fight for uh, republican spain 
there you go. It will generate 0 0.3 threat, war threat, I'm not really too much concerned about that. Oh, look at that, the Soviet Union also sent their own 5 volunteers. Alright, boys. The Pagan say will allow a volunteer force from our country to fight their wars. Very good. And this forces message from Soviet Union changes their diplomatic status with us. The Soviet Union is currently guaranteeing our independence. That is quite excellent, so we can no longer be threatened by the fascists. Uh, what else? Volunteer forces in transfer. They will arrive on the 24th of February at 1 in Republican Spain. Hopefully, Republican Spain is pretty much lost, but I'm sending them more to like win experience, if anything else. Alright. Can we get into the Soviet Union faction? We can! Oh my god. They will automatically cancel if you join the faction. Alright, this is where we go. So change the world tension. I don't care. Alright. We have accepted and now we are in the Soviet Union Comitern faction. And we gain vision of all their territory and units. Excellent. Mongolia is, I think, also uh, in the faction, as along with, like, uh, Tanutuva. I'm not sure which one is that. Alright, we have sent our volunteer forces. Let us see how they manage. People have asked for a little bit of action in the past few days, and we haven't really done so much. So, uh, yeah, we'll lower our speed and see how this works. Can we control them ourselves? Yeah, we can. Alright, his units are probably lost forever, because I don't think they can do anything, but I will try my best, I will send them up to the front line, and uh, I think what I want more is for the general to survive, to be totally honest. Maybe I should have sent him without the leader. Oops, can I, can I like unassign him? Uh, Mihai Rakovic, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, on the sign. There you go. Yeah, you, you can go home. No problemo. What do we have over here? We have a battle that we are winning? Alright, go for it. Look at that. This is the battle screen. This is how battle works. Somewhat similar to, um... Um... Hearts of Iron 3, if you can remember. There are very many things. Many factors. Apparently the enemy have air superiority. Probably the Germans have sent in their uh, air support, but it's raining, so the air superiority should be less effective due to bad weather condition, and we seem to be winning this battle right now. So, for at the very least, our volunteer forces should delay uh, the onslaught on... Uh... Oh, and all the Look at this! All these are like... Uh... Yeah, look by the flag, all these are Soviet Unions, they are Soviet volunteers fighting in Republican Spain. Oh my god, like... The Republican Spain has just come, been completely leveled way faster than it has in like real life. Alright, I have some new decisions, I completely forgot about that. Let's get Collectivist Ethos, and the new government thing, um... Military theorist, artillery designer, infantry equipment designer, motorization, you can get for government, backroom, uh, uh, I'm really not sure, chief of army, let's, uh, let's get uh, maybe a chief of avias for now, air support, I should have grabbed the air reformer. Ah, it's okay. Alright, so we have won a battle, and now there is like a bigger battle going on over here. Should we join them? We could push in for Zaragota over here, I think. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I mean, there is a huge chance that we can get caught off, but we can reclaim an airfield and um, a city over here, which would be pretty impressive for a small force that is ours. Obviously, I am playing on easy, so... Uh, it's understandable if I win the battles a little bit easier than before, but hey. I joined the Comitern. This is great times for us. Can we have any specific options over here? We can... I don't see any reason to rework our guarantee. Can it further improve relations, but we are pretty much at maximum at this point. We can leave the faction. We don't want that. 
and boost party popularity, I don't really care. So not only that we are in the faction, but the Soviet Union is still guaranteeing our independence, which is pretty cool. The Great Purge is taking a lot of time for them to do, and it's like something historical, so you know, you cannot really get rid of that. Alright, it seems that we are also going to win this battle, despite not having air superiority. Man, see, training those volunteer, training our units for like uh, an entire year was pretty good. What I would really like to is to regain some manpower. We are just not gaining at all. Monthly grow rate in states 336. Are we really just gaining 336 soldiers per month? I mean, it's not too bad, but it seems pretty rubbish. Now here's the big question, do you risk ourselves getting caught off and further push into Zaragota or do we try and retreat and consolidate the front? It's only one unit, so uh, see absolutely no reason not to. Uh, have no intel on this combat. God damn it, why can we not get intel on all these combats? Oh, we are now losing the battle. Yeah, they have reinforced. The communists have arrived just in time. The Soviets in there. They're trying to funnel in troops over here on this corridor in order to like assist us, but I don't think that's a very good idea because there's a lot of troops over here. Yeah, we should we should cancel this battle. What we should do, if possible, is we should attack over here and try to cut off these nine units. That would be a much more um, powerful plan. There is a mosquito just like flying around here and being awfully annoying. But yeah, we could cut off and de defeat these nine units. This could like I don't think it's going to be a, like a turn of a battle, but it definitely would delay the defeat quite significantly. Alright, the volunteer uh, mechanism is pretty cool. I, it hasn't existed in Hearts of Iron 3, from what I remember. The Expeditionary Force has existed, but the one with volunteers, which um, what's different between uh, volunteers and Expeditionary Force is that you don't have to be allied with the target country or at war with the opposing country. You can send volunteers wherever there's war, whenever you want, basically. Apart from that, anything else in the world is, seems to be going fine. Japan is still at peace, which is encouraging to see. I'm sorry if the quality like from high up is like pretty bad, but as I said, this game is having way more requirements than I could, would have initially expected. Yeah, man, our two units are making, a, making an impact over here. We are currently losing. How about that? Yeah, the lack of air support is very, very bad. And they definitely have way more units and way more like specialized units. They have some cavalry over here. Have uh, The Soviet have sent their mountain divisions a little bit over here, but... Yeah, we're mostly fighting with infantry and... The problem is that we are just fighting a losing battle. Like, we just didn't mobilize fast enough compared to like uh, the fascists, like as soon as the civil war started, Germany immediately sent the volunteers. For us it took us like almost a year to send our own volunteers and by then, you know, Republican Spain... The problem was just like in historic, uh, historically, Republican Spain wasn't really that popular and during this period of time the nationalist movements all around the world were uh, of increasing popularity basically. They were like absolute. They were like the thing, the new trend, just like I don't know, just like communism. And communism wasn't really that much of a trend. A little bit after the First World War, it was somewhat of a trend, but not so much. We are expecting this battle to last for 12 days. Oh, we have finished this first industry. Very good. We can do uh, excavation. Sounds good enough to me. Far from that... You know, like, you can have a communist government and still have elections. That's what I'm trying to say over here. You don't need to have, like, a dictatorship communist country. I would very likely agree if there were elections and we would win them. Like, right now, the communist party simply is popular. We don't need, like, 
we don't need to like skew the elections or like have a dictatorship with no elections. But hey, that's just my pieces over here. It's a member of the Comitern. Which, what is Tanu Tuva? I know it was in Hearts of Island 3 as well. I just cannot find. Ah, this one. Wow. I didn't even know this country existed. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry for people who mm, are slash war in that country. I don't. It no longer exists now. I think it's part of. Um, not sure if it's part of Mongolia. It might be part of Russia. Uh, wow. We are just like getting crushed over here on all these battles. Yeah, we already lost a unit, and the other one is not doing so well. So. We will need to retreat. Uh, we cannot really retreat. Ah, shit. Our uh, very ambitious push got uh, significantly pushed back. Let's just say it like this. It uh, it was pretty good, you know. We, we tried our best over here. But it's just... As I said, we are just completely fighting a losing battle. Uh, settings over here, reinforcement priority. I mean, we could increase their reinforcements, but it's like it's far away. I don't think they can do anything. Uh, question, can we ask uh, for military access? I don't think we can. Yeah, they uh, don't really like us. I, I bet, I wonder, if we improve our relations with Turkey, will they grant us military access because being able to travel to this strait with our um, submarines at the very least if not with our fleet because our fleet is just deplorable in size but our submarines it could cause some problems over here in the mediterranean against like the fascists i'd imagine let's see is this the diplomacy factions the resource map mode where are our armies? Ah, there you go. Are we still we're still trying over here. How do you like recall the volunteers? There there must be an option for that as well, but I don't know it unfortunately. So they might be stuck over here until the rest of the world. But hey, they are gaining experience. I mean look at this. 33% already pro for the next level. Having some veteran units will definitely be a good thing. Can we send more volunteers? No, we are, we are limited to two units. I wonder what causes this limit of volunteers that you can send. Is it like how much of the country is left? Is it um, how many forces you have? Or is it some combination of like politics and diplomacy that I just don't understand I'm not sure yeah unfortunately Republican Spain is fighting for their last bit of territory over here in Catalonia and uh, as hopeful as the Soviets are we are not going to be able to win. unless the Soviets start sending in like their something like some heavy tank regiments and heavily like armored regiments. The problem is that the Soviets have been doing their Great Purge, which um, uh, reduces a lot. Yeah, there you go. It increases all their research time and it also reduces the organization level of other units. They during the Great Purge, they uh, Stalin has killed a lot of their, a lot of his high-ranking officers, which have left uh, the Russian army. Uh, or the Soviet army, however you want to call it, for like the Second World War in very, in a very deplorable state, considering like the chain of command, and uh, which is one of the reason like the Germans had such a gigantic expansion in the Soviet Union, reaching all the way to like Leningrad, Moscow, and in the second year all the way to Stalingrad. They haven't won. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which side you are on, you know, I'm not taking any... Not trying to, like, name names or putting blames, you know, it's just history, it happened, no matter... It's over, no matter how you feel about it. Um, what's this over here? What's this little uh, division? Belongs to an army, but has no orders assigned. 
Well, you know, front line, there you go. Are you happy now? I hope you are happy. Does this... Uh, is this the same over here? Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm. Well, I would like you to... Frontline... This? And I would like you to frontline... Uh, this. There you go. Are you still complaining about no orders? What's wrong with you? Have I not told you that I want you to like be deployed on a front line? I have to like select all these units and tell them so? God damn, this is annoying. Ah, it doesn't... Oh, I, I, I just selected offensive line by accident. No sirs, we uh, do not uh, intend to go on an offensive against the Hungarians. You know, they are doing some troop movements over here on our borders. Do you have any intel about these units? I could be interested in seeing their experience. They are pretty well organized. Hmm. Oh, there's our uh, current fighting strength. Wow, it's pretty bad. How so? Uh, reinforcements request. Waiting to, for equipment to be produced. Let me check, like, logistics. Tower artillery. We have a huge deficit of artillery, a deficit of infantry equipment, and a gigantic deficit of uh, support equipment. All right, so we will need to like, um, we will drop our production on light tank and fighters, and we'll uh, try and. Uh, oh, we have the Heidenberg incident. Ah, the famous Heidenberg incident that like, the great balloon that caught fire. It was promptly repaired, he got unknown this flammable vapor could have resulted in a fire that would have engulfed the spotty safety record and this isn't bound to make them even more vocal. A close call. Alright, so let me check logistics once again. Alright, so I can drop these and I need to increase support equipment, towed artillery, infantry equipment a little bit, but yeah. So basically I'll need to assign more factories to them. Um, let's see how many should we assign to them, like this maybe, for all of them, is that like good enough? We will, uh, we will see, we'll wait a little bit and see, ah, I forgot to select a new focus, I'll just do that and I'll end this episode, so we can do internationalism focus, further increases our communism support, which is pretty good at the moment. Mm. And we're still raising it because we have our leader over here, but in case you want to change the leader, we might need to change that. Nationalism some focus, we cannot grab that. Political correctness gives us 200 political power. Indoctrination gives us national unity and... Uh, oh, and it also reduces the um, efficiency of like foreign action. On our territory, this one gives us nationality and political power. This one gives us uh, more recovery rate, uh, even more support for communism, and even more political power. Ideological fanatism gives us uh, the ability to create our own factions and allows kamikaze strike air missions. Wow, that's something new. Plus a national unity, uh, core territory, defense, and technological sharing. That's pretty cool. Allows us to like give uh, and receive research bonus for people in the same faction. I think I'll go with the um, armament effort for now. We'll need some more military factories because as we see we're very bad on production wise. And manpower is still pretty bad, and I'm not sure how exactly I'm going. I'm supposed to like raise it, except if I maybe, maybe if I'm able uh, to increase this to like limited conscription, which I can because I'm no longer like a neutral country. Daily democracy support, democracy support. Ah, eh, that's not very pleasant, but I guess we can. We'll have to go for it. Limited conscription will increase our uh, recruitable population and hopefully will uh, reduce our manpower problem. 
and you can also go for like extensive conscription but uh, that also increases the training time and it's a uh, way more expensive service by requirement and all that is should only go when we are at war basically but limited conscription seems somewhat reasonable and also like some sort of like early mobilization uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this other episode of uh, Hearts of Iron 4. We are making progress and we had our first action, basically. We had our first action-packed episode over here with our volunteers in Spain, which are getting their ass whooped in too. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a like and a favorite as always. Helps a lot and I'll see you next time with what I'm going to make. Bye-bye.